Hi, my name is Fabiana Bosis from Brit Co. How are you guys doing today? Hey, how are you doing? You good? Doing great. I am so excited to chat with you about Emily in Paris season four, especially because we have so much more of Luke and Julian. And both of your characters are going through a lot of change this season. So I'm curious, in real life, when you feel like you need a fresh start, what's the first area of life that you turn to? Uh, when I need a fresh start, usually what I do is uh, I play video games and then I fly in, the, in, the, in another country. I know that sounds crazy, but that's, I love that's, it. that's what I've been doing for the past <laughs> five years. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think like changing, changing scenery is the best way to change everything because you're going to change the people around you. You're going to change every like everything's going to change with the with the, the area you're in. So change, if you can change city or change country or even just change, you know, uh, streets, you're good. Just do something different and your life's going to be different. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And I know Emily also is going through a lot of change as well, but if you as Samuel and Bruno could give Emily one piece of advice going into season four, what would you tell her? <sighs> she, needs, she needs more than one piece of advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. No, what I would say is... Learn French. Girl. You have to learn French. It's very important <laughs> to get a culture, to get a people to, it's to learn more French, more dialogue, more, uh, you know, the, the language is very important to get a culture, a country. So it's four seasons. Now you have to learn a little more. I think, I think personally, I'm, mo I'm much more of a, you know, good boy. Yeah. I think she needs to drop the boys and focus on work. Please, <laughs> Emily, you yeah. get a career. Please, come on. The boys totally need your boys agree. there? Running after boys all the time? What's going on? It's been four <laughs> seasons of this, and she still hasn't learned her lesson. <laughs> we talk a lot about her fashion sense, but Julian and Luke have also been killing it in the style department lately. How has the costuming on the show helped you tap into your character and really bring them to life? Well, uh, it is major. Uh, I think personally that costumes is a character in the show and is one of the main characters of the show. And, uh, and uh, particularly for Julian, it's, it's, like, it's like such a massive part of uh, his characteristics that m when I'm working with Marion Fitoussi, uh, our costume designer and stylist, uh, like putting on the clothes give me 90% of the character already. The job is done for me and I just have to just walk and that's it. I think it's, uh, oh. yeah, it's, it takes such a huge place in the show, yeah, yeah, yeah. the outfits. Absolutely. And it seems like the cast stays very connected in between seasons. Is there an Emily in Paris group chat? And if so, who is the most active in it? The most active in what? In the group chat. Le, oh, yeah. Where, group chat Do you know what? Like um, Ashley is very active. Yeah. I, I have to say that yeah. Ashley is one of the most active uh, in all the cast. Yeah, that's, Ashley is the glue yeah, that yeah, keeps us yeah. all together, yeah. basically. She organized everything. She, orga like she, she, she organized the gathering, the little party, the drinks. The she suggests everything. restaurants. Yeah. She suggests uh, places, uh, bars uh, to go outside. She's very yeah, warm. Yeah. Yeah. She, keeps, she keeps the crew together. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Would you say she's most like her character of all the actors on the show? Uh, I don't know, you know. I don't know. She definitely has the energy. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the, the upbeat energy. And she's definitely a friend you can rely on, like in the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's close, yes, I think. Yeah. I don't know close. if he's, she, she's the most close, but yeah. she's close. She got the quality of her character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. And of course, Paris is the city of love, but this year has also been the city of sports. If Luke and Julian were in the Olympics, what sport would they win a gold medal in? <laughs> oh, Luke, it's wow. obviously the bicycle, you know, cycling. But yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Chest? No, no, I'm crazy. Yeah, bicycle? no, no, chest, they're, no. they're not at the Olympics. Julian? But the, the bicycle, obviously, Luke. Julian will definitely um, do some uh, amazing, you have, you have not seen Julian do that, but I'm pretty sure he's good at acrobatics. Yeah, oh, maybe. Really? I'm pretty sure he's good at acrobatics. Maybe in season five, then, we'll see Julian pull out some crazy acrobatics. Yeah. Maybe he'll win a gold medal. We'll put the Olympics in Emily exactly. in Paris. I hope I and on season four, you will discover that Luke is a, a, a great 
uh, artists on one spot, but I cannot spoil, but you remember on the hotel? <laughs> yes, I remember. <laughs> it's a big surprise. <laughs> you cannot imagine <laughs> Luke doing it. Oh, I know, like, it's weird now. It's like such a private joke. We, are, we know what's going to be yeah. going on. We'll the show find out go. soon enough. But you'll Thank find you out soon enough. So <laughs> we'll find out. Thank you so much for all of this. <laughs> Thank you. Have an amazing rest of your day, and we're so excited to see the rest of season four so soon. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Bye. Merci beaucoup.